When I mention to people that I raise queen bees, they get very curious. They ask me, well, how do you do that? Well, what I'd like to do is, is show you, through this video, how I raise queen bees. First step in getting worker bees to raise new queens is to make a hive queenless. This queen that I'm removing has been caged for seven days. This allows for all the eggs to hatch. That takes three days. And four days for the larvae to be too old for the worker bees to use them to raise new queens. Really aching to What's that? They're gonna be aching to build some more queen cells when you put yours in there. Oh yeah. Better take your time. Takes one little screw up and that's it. It would only take one queen cell missed. Screw this up. aren't they? <laughs> okay. 80 queen cells, if they're all accepted. X is pretty good shape. I can start uh, pouring it on the on these sticks. I soak them in water and then um, I put uh, very mild soap on, on um, the end of each one and prepare it for dipping in, in the warm wax. Trick is to get this, I don't want them to be real deep. It's about right. I turn it over. I dip the other side. Next part is to take one of these sticks, set it there, and then to Get it, and then to put it up up here like this. Then pour more wax. So there's plenty of wax around the cells. Of course, I have to let it cool. That wasn't on good enough, was it? Alright. Try some more wax. The next part that's really pretty tricky is to get them to come, come free. Come free of the... Uh, hmm. And I have to work them off. Work them off slowly. Off. There. Look at that. Yeah, whoops. Sometimes they slip. So we'll have to we have to pull these two off by themselves. Put a little wax on there and just Put it back, put it back in. Same with this one. Put it back in place. And that's that. A little bit, oh, that's nice. Yep, that one, uh, they all came off. The rest of the soap out of the cells. And I just Shake the water out, and they're ready to use. Queen cells. 
that uh, I'll be grafting into. And these will be placed into a hive that will then raise them to uh, mature queens. I am selecting day-old larvae from a hive whose characteristics I want to reproduce. Yeah, there's our queen bee. Here she is right here. There's the queen bee. <clears throat> She's Yeah, she's staying in this frame. You see her there? And there on the side. One with a white dot on her. That's the queen. So the most challenging. Now I have to I'm carefully to remove the queen bee do from this frame. And then I gently the shake bee, and brush the worker bees hmm. away so I can take these larvae. Hour to my grafting table. Have another frame. So I'm going to have to take her very carefully. Move her. All these bees over here. frame home with me. Okay. Yeah, you can see the little larvae down there. Little larvae down in the in those cells. They're the right age. Handmade grafting tools made from large safety pins. There's one. See that? Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see it. Can you see it go in here? Yeah. It's okay. this one. Mm -hmm. I'll cage them tomorrow. And I carefully cut the cells off of the wood bar. And then I push the cells onto a dowel that I then carefully insert, insert into the cage. Yeah. I'm opening up one of the queen cells to see how well developed the queen is and how far along she is. That's a beautiful queen bee. Look at the size of her. Look at that. Yeah, let's put them back.
see how many are emerged today. Let's see how many more emerged. Yeah. Beautiful queen bee. Right there. Yeah. Right down there. Right down there.